help each other. Ow, I got salt and vinegar chips in my eyes. Oh, it's so bad. What up, world? Back with another one. Today, we have Mr. Sub. I don't know how popular Mr. Sub is or if it's Canadian or what. I'm not sure. Um, but it is one of these places that exist that sells subs that isn't Subway. So there's that. Um, it's actually really good. What I have in front of me here is uh, their a famous cheese bread uh, so I got it grilled as well they like press it in the panini press which makes it so much better but inside is breaded um, like chicken tender almost like a like a fillet of chicken that's breaded so it's like a breaded chicken tender and then on it I got lettuce tomato cucumber green pepper uh, onion extra cheese pickle the jalapenos and banana peppers and honey mustard sauce i asked them to hook up some extra honey mustard on the side in the uh, notated thing on in you know on skip the dishes and they hooked it up they gave me two so i'm excited i got miss vicky's salt and vinegar chips i got some carrots and some ranch in the back the best pickles in the universe up front here clausen of course flossing with some clausens and we have a root beer on deck too mug not my first choice but uh i'm more of like a barks kind of guy um, and W as well. What is your favorite root beer? Say down below. We all know that we must pour up as well. So that's the first thing we need to do. Just crack into the root beer. I'm very excited for root beer. My just my crave was definitely on for a root beer. And while I'm doing that, let's just give a big shout out to uh, a subscriber of mine named Joseph. Uh, he randomly blessed the PayPal with an, in the don donation bin. So a uh, little act of kindness. That money was used to buy this. That rhymed. Um, but yes, thank you so much, Joseph. I love it when things like that happen through this channel. It's just a nice, it always makes me happy and smile. A random act of kindness. Um, and, you know, now I'm having a good meal for all you guys. Uh, on behalf of him so you guys thank him as well um i did hit you uh, on the email by the time you're seeing this video ooh, that's so good maybe mug is making a comeback by the time you're seeing this video you're probably uh we've probably already talked so but yeah thank you again but uh yeah i i did email you okay so let's get to this. So like I said, it's like breaded chicken cutlet. And uh, it's grilled, panini, and it's falling apart. But uh, that's no problem. We put the extra honey mustard on. We must, oh, we mustarded the pickle. No. Mm. I also asked for bacon. I'm not sure if they put it on though. Mm. That is so good. Mm -hmm. The bacon made it in. Cucumbers and jalapenos. Killing it. The, uh, the jalapenos are definitely adding some heat. Big time. You guys already know I'm going to ranch it. As you could probably tell, I'm starving. I am very hungry in this video. I 
I'm in a bit of a strange mood, but I just feel like I need to get something in me first here. Mm, so good. Falling apart, though sloppy. Mm. A chip. Salt and vinegar, where it's at. Should I pick up the scraps here? Probably. Shouldn't waste food. And so this uh, sub, brings me back in time to, uh, I used to work at this call center. And there was a Mr. Sub beside it. And on my lunch breaks, I would like religiously get this sub. I feel like I ate it like three or four times a week. I remember when I first found it and I first put the combination of it together and I tasted it, I was like, oh my God, that's amazing. I just couldn't get enough of it. But I haven't had it in years, probably five years. Mr. Sub's just somewhere I rarely go, go to. It was just because at work it was right there. And we all know that lunch hour is the shortest hour in the known universe. I swear, like, when you go for lunch, by the time you even sit down and start eating. Work's already, like, calling you back. I remember working at places that give you like 30 minutes for lunch. You're like, what, what am I supposed to even do with that? Thirty minutes is not enough time. To just like get some food in you, like relax a bit, digest, like I always hated that about like lunch break. Just always so stressed out trying to get get your lunch and like enjoy yourself a little bit before you have to go back on on the clock so yeah, he's like onion crisps here and I wanted to add some to see if we could take it up a level and yes shout out to anybody who's worked who works or has worked at a call center I have and uh I've actually worked at multiples. The one I worked at was, this one was um, repairing internet for, for small businesses, like from, from a distance. Like so, a small business's internet would screw up. It's not working for some reason or another. And then they call me and I'd be able to either like I, well, I'd look into what's going on if there's any outages or anything like in their area. And if it's not that, then it's something to do with like in their computer or router or whatever. And I'd either step-by-step -step coach them and like t walk them through it. Or... If they weren't paranoid, which most people were, 
you could take over their screen and just fix it that way by controlling it from there. But most people didn't like the idea of some random dude being able to be like in control of their computer, which I understand that. But I'll tell you this, it made everything a whole lot easier. To be able to do it that way. So sloppy. I can't tell you how frustrating and hard it, w it was to like this jalapenos get me spicy to verbally coach a senior citizen who's like not familiar with computers or the, or the internet at all to try to like coach them through the phone And describe the screen and like where they need to click and all this stuff and like them typing you'd hear like the slowest typing like one finger typing and some some calls would literally last half a shift like i'd be on the same call like from my first call till till lunch call center jobs like get shit on that one wasn't a bad one though I liked it because like it was actually kind of interesting just like learning about you know different stuff with computers and the internet and like how it all works but also just the fact that people were calling me and me to solve them a problem that was like was hurting their business so at the end of the call, it's like, when you fixed it, they were like super happy and like very like grateful and thankful. And it felt good to like make somebody's day like that, fix their problem so that they can get their business back going. Like it was actually pretty pretty good job and it paid better than your average like minimum wage crappy job sitting in a chair all day though that's that's tough for me I can't do it I just get so like restless lazy like I'm just bored like I like to be moving. We used to play like cards and stuff too. Like you have your, your, your neighbor, like you have two neighbors. You have to play cards. Try to like help each other ow I got salt and vinegar chips in my eyes oh it's so bad you try to help each other like catch naps so like you're, you you just you know look out for each other while you're trying to like catch a nap if you're having like a super tired morning you get on a call and then if you have to transfer to another department you could like send the person but not hang up, but go silent. And so it's called piggybacking. So you can just piggyback the call. So it looks like you're on a call working and stuff, but you're just listening to some other agent, like do their job with the customer and you just like chill out and just nap. And 
was take it easy for like a half hour because you're just if you're just there's some mornings they're just so tired just like when it wasn't ready to work yet just piggyback a call for like an hour hmm okay well well, that's pretty good. Not bad. Just sloppy. I feel like that sub was so problematic to like hold on to and deal with. Well, that concludes that. Hopefully uh, it looked better than it kind of went, you know? Anyways. Till the next one, eat good, live well, stay true.